Wow, there we are. Well, there we are. There we are. What's up, everyone? King Meech here with the legend himself, Thank you. Christopher Sabat. Wow, you're too kind. Oh, my God. I kind. can't tell you what an honor it is to have him here. Just look at him, feel him like I am. It's fantastic. Yeah, I'm uh, so important they actually had to clear the convention center Yeah, no, literally, for me. no one else is allowed in the space yeah. right now except vendors because this man is here. Okay, truth it's be told, I'm, I was so important, I actually had to do my interview with you before the convention even opened. That's true. We're on strict protocol here, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, but I mean, justifiably so. And I said, please bring me, bring me a Dragon Ball fan. And I guess you were the best they I could mean, do. I mean, li listen, I'm wearing. As you guys can Dude. see, I'm. I've had this shirt since seventh grade, ladies and gentlemen. I decided to wear it today because who am I meeting? I'm probably going to ask him to sign. Yeah, he's got. Not. He's got yeah. Vegeta socks on. I he do has have a Vegeta, Vegeta so keychain. I probably sufficiently creeped him out. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? I'm sure he's running to worse. So. Yeah. We're good. Yeah, yeah. I I would say yeah. At least you've got kind of a mad style about it. So I like, appreciate that. And and it finally that shirt fits people again. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> when you, I got this shirt, it was I was swimming in. Every single yeah. person who bought that shirt that you're wearing was uh -huh. swimming in that shirt. I think they're. I have no idea who decided on the sizes, but I think they must yeah. have left it up to Japan because yeah, every, probably <laughs> every time I go to Japan, I'd like I'd like a pair of pants, please, and they go, oh, hold on, and they have to go back and they they, they have to they say something in Japanese which I think translates to bring out the dinosaur pants yeah. or something like that because they just assume that yeah. a, like Americans are just massive. Yeah, these gargantuans. Yeah. And the truth is, though, I think we are. By we, we probably compared to the, to the Japanese people, yeah. I think we're substantially larger in and, some but way. But they the first one they brought out, they go, oh, here you <laughs> oh, go, the, the and they effect. hold that. You know you're doing like, good. And it was so big. I'm like, come on, dude. Guys, I look seriously. that large, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh. Oh, sorry, I'm some, I'm throwing you well off topic. No, no, no. One. We're well okay, on topic. Good, we're good. good. So good. we have a few questions for you. Ugh, uh, okay, fine. Just because we have to ask them. <sighs> so I gotta say, with the new Broly movie, uh -huh, that's with out, it. we have a lot of people that have always been on the Vegeta bandwagon mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that now are preaching Broly. Broly this, Broly that. Broly's the, the coolest Saiyan of all time. What do you have to say to people like that who were all Vegeta and now we're like, oh, Vegeta, meh, Broly? What do we uh, think about that? Because I don't agree with it. I don't I'm, know. Broly shows up for five minutes. He says mm -hmm. what? Ten things, yeah. including a couple grunts. Ba, yeah. me, <laughs> ba, ear, uh, ba, <laughs> nice, ba, touch, ear, wear, ear, uh, on, stomach, yeah. drinking ba. water, eating and then bugs. he just and then he screams for like I mean it's, at least it's, thirty minutes. It feels like overcompensating to me, really. That's probably true. Yeah, it, uh. like Vegeta. I loved Vegeta in this film because mm -hmm. he. Would, it's one thing I like to remind people, especially when I saw the film before other people, when they were asking me what should people expect, I was like, you're getting to see Vegeta post Dragon Ball Super. He's a honed warrior who's not necessarily the first guy who's just going to jump into the fight without evaluating what was going on. I thought he yeah. was, and I thought his fight with Broly was better than. Than Goku's I thought fight. it was uh, honestly when Goku started fighting him, you can see genuine pain and fear in yeah. Goku's screams in his eyes. Yeah. Vegeta was, you know, he, sure he might have gotten his ass kicked a bit, but for the most part, he held his own. He, he looked did. composed. I think he, yeah. I think he won that fight actually. He, he, well, I mean, he never technically did lose. Goku, of course, being the, you know yeah, trying to steal the, the spotlight Goku. all the yep, time, yep, yep, is yep. like, oh, I'm gonna fight him now. And then, it, yeah, like, he. I thought it was a. Yeah. I thought Vegeta's fight was really visceral and mm -hmm. real, and uh, and then once yeah. it got to Goku, he was like doing yeah. Jedi mind tricks and stuff. Yeah, he or like whatever. put him in like, like this force stasis, and he like, could. I'm like, what? Where did you get that? Power, I don't know, Goku. I don't know. That was it's a mysterious ridiculous. power. And then by the time mm -hmm. it got to the the Gogeta fight, mm -hmm. it just felt like everyone was on LSD and like uh, a lot of drugs must have been ingested yeah, around that time. It was time weird. Period. Yeah, there were these two. Those weren't sensu beans. There's a moment in the film where you mm -hmm. see a Gogeta kind of fall backwards a little bit. Yeah. And you and they had in the Japanese version, it just had two mouth movements that just went like this, right? <laughs> and and there was nothing in it. Uh, There's nothing in the translation yeah. there. But we added a, what the? Because it's just what it looks like yeah. at that moment. It yeah. was crazy. Yeah. Okay. It was I a good film. That. I mean, I think uh -huh. it is. I think people are excited for Broly in the same way that people are excited for any new Dragon Ball content. Yeah. Uh, because he, he represents kind of what could be mm. the future of a new interesting storyline or character. Yeah. Like when, when they first said, when I first heard they're releasing Broly, 
for this film. I'm like, come on, Akira Toriyama, let's, can we please yeah. have a new villain mm -hmm. instead of resurrecting exactly. Frieza? And, and, oh, God, uh, are you sick of Frieza yet? I'm so sick of okay. Frieza. Just I'm gotta so ask. Sick. Although I, I do like Frieza now more than I ever have. I like, I love, really? I love Golden Frieza more than I ever liked that all the cool. other Friezas. Because yeah. Golden Frieza at least is a little more on the nose now. Mm -hmm. Golden, like, Frieza kind of matches his personality more. Too. Yeah, always oh, gold. Frieza's yeah. kind of like the Yamcha of all the villains right now. Uh, where do you know what I'm talking well, about? Of course, I know like, what you're talking about. Kind of almost self-aware yeah. that like maybe mm -hmm. like free like all of us know that Frieza's yeah. never gonna win. Yeah, really. like he knows he's starting to be taken as a joke, but he's not gonna stop trying. Yeah, and so yeah. he just decides hey, yeah. I'm just gonna go golden. Yeah. Just because I can do <laughs> you that. You know what? And I, I need a new power. aesthetic change. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. But I think I think people who are excited about Broly should be excited about Broly because he's a good. Yeah. He, it's a good, cool character. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I th my favorite part of the movie though was the kind of the beginning of the film, the first half, the Saiyan mm -hmm. legacy story with Bardock and King Vegeta. That was really and cool. Paragus. I think we needed that. Uh, oh, we totally yeah, did. I could have done. Well done. I could have done an entire movie with just the Saiyan uh -huh. history stuff. I'd like to see a little bit more of, you know, of uh, of Goku. Uh, sorry, Barak and Gine. I could have. Yeah, I, I could have really... used a little bit more, especially Gine. Yeah, it's a little treasure that we don't get that much. And King Vegeta. Oh, I love I, playing King it's Vegeta. It's so much. It's Vegeta with a goatee. It's, I love it. Yeah. Uh, do you do you have fun with King it's Vegeta, his, even though it's limited? His name you know? is uh, Goteja. <laughs> Goteja? No, I'm joking. Okay. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> sorry, I was just trying to find some sort of fusion with the goatee yeah. and the Vegeta thing no, to make I think King it worked. Vegeta. Goteja. I love I playing King it. Vegeta because he's just. I want. I I always like to make King Vegeta. You listen to him and you go, "Oh, that's why Vegeta is such an asshole." You know what you, I mean? Like, yeah, he you was see where it comes from. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's he's, 100 There's just something true. about King Vegeta, and mm. he's just so proud of his mm. son. Like, I bet you yeah. every day. When mm. Vegeta woke up from an infant, he would like, Oh, my <laughs> son, you have <laughs> Eat your eggs. Are You must be the strongest person in the world uh, today. What do you think, growing up as a kid, just here, getting that hammered every down every day? day. Yeah, and then you get adopted I... by Frieza when you're, what, yeah. eight years old, and then uh, your life sucks. And you have Nappa as a, as a babysitter. Yeah. I mean, how are you going to grow up? It's Poor not, guy, can't yeah. even grow hair. He can't. If he, were to go, if he were to go Super Saiyan, you think he'd have, like, a Super Saiyan beard? I was always imagining that, like, if Nappa, he would have like a Super Saiyan goatee, and mm -hmm. then he would, like hair would come out from his, from his underwear. Like yeah, uh, yeah, like just, just all... had like the Saiyan spikiness. That yeah, came right out it of would his, be like... glorious. It would just be a tad icky. Yeah, 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 it would just be like this. Anyway, I don't even yeah. know what you no, call no, that. I, but, yeah, but... Uh, yeah, I'm sure we can figure For out. For the children, you yeah. can look, look it up. <laughs> yeah, just no, don't look it up. No, no, don't do that. Ask your parents. Yeah, exactly. Ask your parents. But don't tell them that I said. Say this guy. Yeah, you can blame it on me. It's fine. This guy does nothing wrong. All right. Uh, so I know you have two kids, right? Two yes. daughters, if I'm yes. not mistaken. I, didn't know this. I'm uh, I'm I am creeping. Yeah. Of course. So how do they feel? I, do do they ever like, Dad? What do you do? They really understand the scope of what you do when you go to work? Do not they? really. Really? No. They think mm -hmm. they know that I sign autographs for people, and they know <laughs> that I'm on a show called Dragon Ball, and they know oh. who Vegeta is. Like, okay. Uh, my daughter, uh, my daughter knows who Vegeta is mm -hmm. only because I told her that he was a prince. Okay. And so that's the only way to get mm. girls to watch the show who may not otherwise watch it say, he's there's, a prince. There's a charming prince yeah, that's going to save a, the world. And so I don't uh. think they know necessarily how mm. evil Vegeta truly is because mm. Hero, bless her heart, is a pretty sensitive kid. She's not like some of these. I, I'm amazed by some of the parents who come up and they're like, hey, my son. Is my son named Gohan, and this is my daughter Videl. <laughs> yeah. And since the day they were born, I've been making them watch Dragon Ball Z every uh, morning. I won't feed them until yeah. they watch yeah. the Cell Saga. I won't feed them. It's just like until they watch he's the seen the song. he's seen the series four times, and he's only three years old. Uh, and I'm like, I wonder what that does to a child. Um, yeah, that's probably a little probably, Vegeta syndrome. It probably actually. turned out like you, actually. Yeah, uh, yeah, um, yeah. Weirdos oh, poor that thing. just uh, poor things. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah. I, my kids, mm -hmm. my daughter's kind of sensitive, so I'm a little worried about introducing it to her. I feel like. I'm worried that if I don't introduce her to the show at the right time, she's not going to like it and she's yeah. never going to want to watch it. What if she ever just discovers it on her own, not she even realizing, and like, wait, to. Dad? Or even any other show. It doesn't yes. even have to be Dragon Ball Z. It can be My Hero. It can be it's true. Black Clover. Dude, it, it, yeah. She, although I'm getting, mm -hmm. it, we're getting to the point where she's, she's approaching the age, like in about three or four more years, mm -hmm. she can approach the age where she would literally just be burning every copy <laughs> of Dragon Ball as she sees Damn it. it, Dad. I hate my dad. <laughs> I hate him so much. Uh -huh. It's so embarrassing. Uh -huh. um, 
But yeah, and my youngest, I bet mm. you she could watch it, actually. Nova, she could probably watch it. She's four. That's a really awesome name, by the and way. Her, thank you very much. Well, when you have a daughter named Hero, you have to have a, you have to a, match a, a second daughter that yeah. has an equally cool name. Yeah. But yeah, Nova is like, I know she would probably like Dragon mm. Ball because she's just complete chaos. <laughs> and and her favorite color, if you, it's like, like what most girls, when you go, what's your favorite color? It's like pink or purple. She yeah. said, my favorite color is dark. Oh my That's God. That's her favorite color is dark. What a good response. Yeah, I was like, okay. Nova, if you ever watch this, <laughs> yeah. I have infinite respect for you. That's yeah, badass. She, she will understand. That's a badass remark. Doesn't even understand okay. what infinite respect is. She just yeah. wants <laughs> infinite sugar. Is okay. all she wants infinite right now. Infinite sugar. That infinite respect makes means like kind of like cookies all day. Okay. Uh, yeah, man, they're cool kids. They just, yeah, they like just don't. Like a cool dad. Yeah, well, thanks. Yeah. You're, you're welcome. Hey, I get to do young stuff, although yeah. I go to conventions a lot, which mm. means I'm gone almost every weekend. Yeah, that's true. So when I'm home for a weekend, it's mm. it's luxurious. I'm sure. I'm sure it's well needed, well deserved. Uh, yeah, it's it's yeah. Uh, maybe not deserved, but definitely needed. Yeah. <laughs> now, speak, while we're on the cool subject, because okay. you do multiple characters, yeah, yeah. and for, for the most part, any show that I watch that you're featured in, that character will be a complete and total badass. It'll just be the epitome of cool. Does that just happen while you're in the studio? Do you even, th how does that, just, it just, is it your voice that's making it happen? I really is the think, character, do they write the characters just for you because they know you're gonna do it? I think there's something about like American culture mm -hmm. where, we, where we think that cool people sound like me. Like it's I think there's this. I, I know it's weird, you, but like <laughs> they're like, this guy's cool. He has a sword. He uh -huh. must have a, a, a deep voice. I mean, even the like, uh, even in Japanese culture, uh -huh. it's kind of a similar thing too. I remember I was directing a video game one mm -hmm. time. It was actually one of the very first games that my company Okatron did. Mm -hmm. I'm not even. I wanted to talk about Okatron. We that's do that. awesome too. Uh, oh. It was one of the first uh, games that Okatron did, mm -hmm. and we we're working with a Japanese client. I don't want to mention the title yeah. because it's kind of embarrassing, mm -hmm. but they. We cast this guy as the main character, and the 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 character model was he was supposed to look kind of like a he looked kind of like Eminem. He was like okay. light, light skinned, maybe like mixed race, maybe African American, maybe Hispanic. Mm. It's hard to tell in there. Yeah. It was hard to tell in their conceptual drawing. Mm. So I hired this guy to play the voice, and he had this really cool, uh, like young rapper type voice. Mm. And when we got into the sessions, the Japanese were like, oh, can his voice be lower? I go, <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? He goes, uh, if his voice is uh, lower, it's uh, more attractive to women. I go, well, I don't know. I think women are sometimes attracted to a personality. And like, yeah, 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 this yeah. guy is kind uh, of like really cool. Uh, and I imagine they wouldn't like... Uh, I think people would be attracted to him because yeah. he's just yeah. like a cool rapper or a guy yeah. pretty scrappy. No, uh, no, that's good. But can his lower. voice please be lower? I'm like, all right, fine. So I, I, but I do think that there is something about like low voices and guys with swords yeah. or dudes who can blow things up oh, with their hands and stuff like that. Zoro. Yep. Well, how, how do you say his name again? Roro Noro. Roro Noro. Roro Noah Zoro. So everybody, if you haven't figured out already, hi, my name's King Mish. I have a speech impediment, and no, we're talking no, to the no, no, no. Don't I worry about it. it. Wrong. I can't say the name right. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. I'm lucky that I play Roro Noah Zoro. <laughs> Um, because it is the biggest uh, tongue twister ever. If you say it correctly, okay. it's like Roro no Roro Noah Zoro. Zorro. It's Roro Noah Zorro. So it's like lots of Zorro. different O sounds yeah, in there. Yeah, say that five times. Roro Noah Zorro. Anyway, uh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Do you have an all-time favorite character? I know you've gotten that question before. Uh, but I mean, is there for one a, that just stands out ever so slightly? I mean, Vegeta is in a class all of its own because I've done that yeah. character for like tw Piccolo, 25 years. Pic Piccolo's, Piccolo's great. Uh, I just have never been able to figure out what Piccolo's real character is because... Gohan's babysitter. He's, He's Gohan's, Gohan's babysitter. Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks uh, a lot, Goku, for doing but nothing. Lately, but lately, My Hero Academia has been taking the cake as like the best damn show. It's like, so I mean, good. <laughs> Again, Dragon Ball is in a universe all in of itself yeah, because I've exactly. worked on it for 20 years and people mm -hmm. love Dragon Ball, love Dragon Ball, mm -hmm. and Dragon Ball kind of is on its own path. But yeah. there's something about My Hero Academia that's just such a beautiful, perfect story, amazing animation. And, yeah. you know, I'm a dad, so I really can mm -hmm. kind of relate with All Might in a way. Oh, I, I would say so, I th especially on both factors when he's powered up and powered yeah. down. You see that fatherly, paternal. Uh, melody in his voice when he's talking to Deku or, yeah. or young Midoriya. 
And it, it's, it's the dichotomy of getting to do those two voices. Yeah. Um, and even though All Might is like the, the, the kind of the puffed up hero looking version of it, yeah. in, in some ways he's the most, he's kind of the most artificial of the two because yeah. All Might when he's powered down mm -hmm. is like the real All Might. Like he is, yeah. he is the actual All Might. It's mm -hmm. the All Might that he puffs up, he puts on like this smile, he puts on this yeah. attitude. Mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> To make people feel safe. Yeah, yeah. You know? And so yeah. people on TV don't know this, but like, Literally beyond the camera, like about mm -hmm. 50 feet beyond the camera, there are people wrestling. There are literally three people throwing each other down onto onto the ground over there, and it's a little distracting. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, so everybody, there's a wrestling ring. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. A, ca a camera uh, was about oh, to turn around. Oh, here we go. We're gonna show it. He's trying. And they're practicing. They're yep. real sweaty. Uh, yeah, look at this. Look. Uh, look. Do you see the leprechaun guy in the back? So guys, there's a green looking leprechaun. That's not even creature. true. You're you're just you're making that up. No, you see it? You see that creature with the red beard? Oh uh, shiny green jacket? No, he doesn't exist. I think you you've that's, had too much to drink true. last night. Uh, oh guys, wait, what's happening? Sorry. Oh wait, going, right. oh, oh, and he oh, missed. Oh, what is this? Commentary by No! Okay. Oh, pure carnage, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that was nice. A little impromptu wrestling. That was nice. Good. All right, sorry. Now at least they got an idea of, of yeah. kind of what it is. What the atmosphere is. We could probably we could probably talk for a little longer if you want to. Yeah, we'll talk for a little bit. Yeah. yeah is yeah. it good with you? Sure. Fantastic. I got to ask you, Ocatron 5000. Yes. How did that start? What were your passions uh, getting into that? Because that's huge. Okay, Ocatron started because I've... I've always loved production, and I started yeah. at Funimation as the mm -hmm. casting director and the voice director, and I yeah. worked in the production department there for many years. Mm -hmm. Like, Dragon Ball was the first, basically. Well, yeah. other than being on working at radio stations, yeah. Dragon Ball was like the show that mm -hmm. I kind of started my career to some mm -hmm. to, to a large degree. Mm -hmm. um, and I was at Funimation for a long time working on anime. Yeah. Um, and then we worked on our very first Dragon Ball video game. It was like Dragon Ball Z Budokai. And we did that in Dragon. It, we did that at mm -hmm. Funimation, mm -hmm. and it turned out that working on a video uh, game is very, very difficult, time intensive, yeah. and it and it comes in at the last minute, and the materials are crazy, and they have to be edited really fast. Mm -hmm. And after working on that game, I realized I love anime, but like video games were my true love. Like I grew up on video games. My dad was a gamer. Like I, okay. I had every game console. Uh, really? Oh yeah, yeah. I, okay. Okay. I, okay. I, I'm gonna discredit myself for a minute. Every game console except for the Nintendo and I'm the right Super Nintendo. I'm actually and, right and it wasn't because you. I didn't like them. It's mm -hmm. because I liked girls more during that period of time in my life. Good man. Like, I, it was like video games, video games, video games. Oh, whoa, girls. <laughs> yeah, that's wow. What a whole those new are world. Yeah, I was oh. like, I don't need video games. I just want to look at them more often. Yeah, I want to stare at girls and their features I, and such. I, I want to try and kiss one of them. Yeah, on the and mouth, so, please. And so, video games became something that like I kind of put to the sidelines. Uh, then and then I mm. then I realized like, wait a minute, I can find girls who like video games, yeah. and I can have the best of both worlds. So then I got back into PlayStation, PlayStation okay. Two. Um, but yeah, I've had every game console, and I realize I love, I love video games. Do you still play? Oh yeah, yeah, I still play. And oh. so I thought, you know, I was got, I had gotten to a point at Funimation where my only position that I could move up to yeah. was my boss's job, which is sort of an administrative position. I didn't really want to be an administrator. I wanted to still be working in production. Yeah. So uh, there was another video game coming up. So I actually left Funimation, formed a company because I knew that Funimation couldn't handle that amount of production all at once so I, yeah. I had a crew and the game company came to me and said hey would you like to produce this for us and so i left funimation formed a company called okatron 5000 okra means nothing tron gives it technological significance it sounds cool. and 5000 gives it 3000 years of longevity so that's where the name comes from uh, we learned something we worked on that game and then and it became my goal at that point mm -hmm. to have some sort of service to provide mm -hmm. game companies who need like quality, like turnkey yeah. sort of voice, yeah, uh, like voice assets for their games. And as I, you know, as we've grown, the game industry has grown, and every year games require more voices and more yeah. sound files. Even the Dragon Ball games that used to have that started with like, you know, some somewhere around twenty thousand files now yeah. have like fifty, a hundred thousand yeah. audio files in them. It's crazy. While I'm, real quick, DBZ, 
as far as video games go. Yeah. I personally think Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi 3 for yep. the PlayStation 2 yep. is the all-time best fighting game, Dragon Ball Z game of all time. I've Unless you include it. Dragon Ball Fighters. Dragon you, Ball Fighters is amazing. I, I played them all, but Tenkaichi 3 just... I don't know. I don't know if it's because I grew up with. No, you. no. I what agree. are your thoughts on I, that? No, I agree. Tenkaichi uh, two. Well, I, it used to be two, and then they released three that had yeah. even more characters. Yeah. In it. They were very similar games, mm -hmm. but Tenkaichi three was the perfect game until Fighters came out. Fighters. Is Fighters great. has just. Fighters does something. I mean, granted, it's not even apples to apples because Tenkaichi yeah. three felt as much like a, like an aerial combat game as it yeah. did a fight as, as mm -hmm. a fighting game. So it wasn't just mm -hmm. like this. 2D same plane. You're all over the place. Thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was. Um, it was a pretty cool. I thought it was a pretty cool game. And you know, uh, I don't have any relationship to these people whatsoever. But mm -hmm. at one point, I was invited onto this show online. Yeah, you guys should connect with at some point. They're called DBZ League. Have you heard of them? I have not. And what they do know. is they take, they take Tenkaichi Budokai Three, the one that had all the characters, and they. These people get online and they form brackets and you form teams based, like they're thematic based teams, right? So you could pick, like there's one called the Gohans and it's just all the yeah. forms of Gohan. There's one like the weird guys or like the small guys. We used to do uh, that growing up. We would just make characters like on the team mode with, you know, your five characters. We would do that. We would, the Gohans or all exactly. the Vegetas. So what they yeah. would do, uh -huh. they, they do that, they, and they give them all the possible specs that you can, all the possible okay. upgrades, except for some which they've determined like, are on balance. Okay, got uh, it. And then you can spec your teams out however you want, mm -hmm. and then they let they let the computer play the teams. And so you all watch, and it's sort of this almost like horse racing where they're yeah. just not sure because if you pick go like if you pick go to like uh, Gohan uh -huh. and and Trunks, mm -hmm. they are not as good by themselves. But if the computer decides randomly that it wants to fuse them, Holy then it's an yeah. infinitely better character. You know what I mean? Yeah, one hundred percent. So it's it's such a brilliant. It, it was really fun to watch, and that mm -hmm. sometimes just for no reason, like mm -hmm. Tian Shinhan might be the best character yeah. that day. And so it's this tournament structure thing, and it goes through. and uh, And I had a lot of fun. I gotta look into hosting this. it. I would definitely recommend it to okay. anyone who was like remember into, this folks. into the old Dragon Ball stuff. It's called DBZ League. Okay, good to know. Yeah, good to know. I'm supposed to actually. They're they're like waving at me to go over there, but maybe I don't. Maybe I don't have to right now. I mean, you're the boss at this point. We can I know. do whatever you want to do. Yeah, I can. I can call the shots. You know what? You are. You're. You're. You're freaking. Vagina. Sorry, guys. I'm staying here for a while. Okay. You've command. You can command legions. You know that. You understand if you if you really willed it, you can lead mankind. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Just want Thanks. you to know that you probably yeah. already do. Oh, and if you no, ever have no. plans of world domination, you can probably succeed with your yeah, voice alone. Yeah, the thing is, I don't like to, you know, I, mm -hmm. I don't need to, I don't need to meddle with stuff, you know? Yeah. I don't need to, I don't need to bully people. I just, like, go do my life, do, my, do my thing, show up, say some Vegeta stuff. I respect in, that. I'm in control of my own destiny. I don't have to control the that rest of are. it, you know what I mean? Before you ever met your lovely wife, uh -huh. have your lovely kids, did you ever use any of your numerous voice talents to attract the opposite sex? I, is that ever a game changer for you? It is a game changer only to weed out people that I actually wouldn't want to be with. I have this Ooh. weird thing about fandom where, mm -hmm. like, if if I was to ever have been with somebody that mm -hmm. actually was a Dragon Ball fan, it would weird me out too much. Like, it's just, okay. it feels, it's yeah. just too strange to me. Yeah, that's probably like true. I mean, long before I met my wife, I was with one person mm -hmm. who, like, we were hanging out, doing the things that adults do. Children ask your parents, and um, and then at one point she was like, "It's so cool to be a Vegeta," and all of a sudden she's like, "Oh, I gotta go. Yeah. I gotta leave here. What's this going is, on? It's <laughs> over with." So yeah, the thing I love about my wife is that she actually isn't really into Dragon Ball at all, and she I actually that. she makes fun of me. For it, uh, and she I went to go. Though, she probably, went to right? go see the movie, yeah. and she's like, "Why do they even do that? That's so stupid." And I'm like, "Shut up." It's actually Damn really you. cool. She goes, uh, do they have to do that? Why do they scream all the time? I'm like, I don't know. It's just a show. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. People like the show. I like the show. So she just hazes me on it. Uh, and uh, I think she intentionally doesn't watch it just so she can do that. So much I'm learning. Yeah. So yeah. Great. I just, there's, yeah. there's uh, something like, it, it is weird. Like once mm -hmm. you, if you have like this, I feel like when you have this celebrity Status, even if in this like tiny little microcosm of a celebrity status that I have in this universe, um, I wouldn't call it a micro. It's well, okay, it's getting it's 
it's crazy that people are really into it now. But yeah. still, like I, I just think that if you, even if you have the slightest amount of it, it's so easy to abuse mm -hmm. that power. Yeah. And I just, I just can't do it. Like I can't. It's just like it's not in my, in my physical makeup because I, when I see people come up, I yeah. know that I could, I could use yeah. my powers for evil, and I could literally control. I could yeah. control things, and I just don't. Yeah. I just don't. It just feels. And I, but I think that's another attractive quality about yourself. Well, thank I'm you. sure that's probably why you draw so many people to you, and why so many people adore you and love you for not only your voice and bringing all of these characters to life that all of us have grown up with, but you're also a great human being. I appreciate it. And, uh, and that's I, evident with just peaking with you now, so thank you. Well, I've been signing autographs yeah. and stuff for 20 years, mm -hmm. and when I, like, when I first started. I, you'd, I was surprised that anyone would even wait to even talk to me, and I still yeah. am to this day. So every mm -hmm. person that comes up, I try to make eye contact with them or, yeah. or like get their name or at least mm -hmm. feel like I make a connection with each yeah. person that comes up, because otherwise, like I wouldn't do it. Like I, yeah, if I wouldn't, I wouldn't even do it. Mm -hmm. So these be like, yeah, and yeah, people are paying for my autograph, but just full disclosure. You know, Dra like Dragon Ball Z was a non-union dub show that we dubbed in Texas. We never made a dime beyond the little amount that we even got paid for it in the beginning. Yeah. The, the, the beginning. So yeah. the people who are coming up and paying me are essentially helping me put my kids in good schools and stuff yeah. like that. Because acting, especially dub acting, is a, a relatively thankless job in a way. You, yeah. Especially Dragon Ball, where you're blowing your voice out. I mean, it took, yeah. But I should, and, and I, but I do have to get credit, like. Mm -hmm. After 20 years, 15 years of working yeah. on the show, it is, it is finally actually paying, you know, to some allowing us to yeah. be able to maybe retire on this. Someday, yeah, you know what I mean. Although and it's I'm well never deserved, though. I'm never going to give the voice of Vegeta. You ever. can't. No, if no, that I goes to be, somebody else, there will be anarchy. I will there be will be riots. Five years old. Like, yeah, I will have mm -hmm. recordings of myself. Yeah, we're gonna have buried to, with me. We have me. to do a little uh, Doctor Giro thing with you and Vegeta's voice. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. we have to implement you in some machine and have your brain survive past you know you being well gone. I'll figure gone. something out. Yeah. But I think what I'm gonna do before I go, like, mm -hmm. but, like, but if I if I know I'm about to die, yeah. I'm just gonna go and spend like three thousand hours having my voice turned into some sort of AI, so they can then use Vegeta. Who's gonna use forever. Alexa anymore? Exactly. Alexa, Siri, Pff, out of here. Vegeta. Yes. Or there's well. Could we have Vegeta? Maybe a little All Might? Vegeta Maybe. sounds like this. He's this scratchy jerk that makes people who are about 25 or 26 years old go a little bit crazy on the inside. Uh, Piccolo, uh, he sounds like this. He's just, uh, he's always telling Gohan what to do. Kind of almost like a dog. Like, Gohan, do it. Don't do it. Uh, Yamcha is like, he's here. He's basically like Vegeta's voice, but with a lot of surfer in there. Uh... And then, oh, let's see. I, 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 it's, Captain Yami. Can we get a little Captain Yami? Oh, Yami is kind of like just my voice being a jerk. He's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, shut up. I'm going to just go take a dump. You know what I mean? So I love him. He, like Yami wakes up every day, mm -hmm. makes fun of everyone around him, yep. and then takes a massive dump. That and is he like, just breaks shit in his house. That's a life. Yeah. And then, uh, and then I am here. I guess I was, I was a little bit scratchy because it's still a little bit early. Yeah. But, uh. It's fine now because I am here. That had a little bit of Alex <sighs> Louise Armstrong in there too. Wow! Did you ever watch? Uh, did you ever watch Full Metal Alchemist? Of course, all? I okay, watched yeah. Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, yeah there's a, there is a difference between between even though they're very similar, there yeah. is a difference between you know Alex Louise Armstrong and All Might. Yeah. Because Alex Louise Armstrong <laughs> has it. The strong arm alchemist, and then. Um, uh -huh. When All Might is supposed to be very pure. So that's that's the only difference, really. Not, I, not too much. i got to be honest with you. Ladies and gentlemen, I just witnessed the most beautiful act of, of life uh, yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, I think you all have as well. Uh, you all just received a blessing, so you better cherish it. All right. Sorry, I just have to make sure they're well aware of what they're watching here. And now I must go bless my adoring fans over here. All so. right. Guys, you just witnessed itself. Christopher Sabat is with us here at the Level Up Expo in Las Vegas, gaming capital of the world. I can't thank you enough. We appreciate you being here. Thank you, good sir. Thank you very much for it's having me on Gla. Oh, I'm, I'm t he's totally gonna. I'm gonna make him autograph my shirt. Gla. Weird. Gaming I life, man. Gla. All right. He said gaming life. All cool I did. Too. I did. Thank you guys. Signing out. Have a good one.